Okay, I want to do something a little different here. I wanted to do a series on book recommendations. Um, if you if you're interested in self study like I am, then you're probably interested in um, knowing what textbooks I've found to be um, most useful for self study purposes. Um, this can be a bit difficult, obviously, because when you're trying to study on your own, there's nobody there to ask questions to. So what I tried to do was find the books that I felt were explain the information in a way that a beginner could grasp it and understand it with enough detail but not too much detail to um not too much detail to uh go too far and to the point of confusion so what i found for biochemistry and the textbook i recommend for biochemistry is campbell's um biochemistry this is the fifth edition i picked this book up for probably like five bucks um, very, very cheap. It's an older edition. I don't know if you can you can kind of see it here. I want to open it up and start looking at a few things. And you know, when you go into the beginning and the and inside the text here, you know, you can um, you can see that there's like a source card and stuff and some internet website things. And then we get into the chapter layouts. Now it's kind of a funny story how I actually got started using this book. Um, I had Linager's Principles of Biochemistry, and I had um, and I had uh, Grisham and Garrett's uh, Biochemistry Principle, and a couple of other different books. But what I found was these books had a lot of information, ton of information, very very good information, of course, but not the kind of, but not what I needed. I needed an, an intuitive understanding. I needed the basics, and I needed it explained in a way that made sense. But that wasn't really why I got the book. What ended up happening was, in my course, um, I was Googling questions that my teacher had asked, um, because I like to know where these questions come from, if possible. And what I found was, a lot of her questions were coming directly from Campbell's textbook. So I said, well, if her questions are coming from Campbell's textbook, and I can pick up an older edition, more, more likely the one maybe she used in college, um, then I'm going to pick that book up and use it. So there's a tip um, if you're studying in your class and you and, and you, you're not sure where these questions are coming from, but say you start googling them, and sometimes on Google it pops up textbooks and questions in the textbook. Now if these questions are coming from a textbook, not the one you're using, because I think at that point I was using Vote Vote and Pratt, which is another biochemistry textbook, and um, for the that was the one used in the course and. You know, I was finding that most of her questions were coming from Campbell's textbooks. So I said, you know what, let me get Campbell's textbook. And I read some reviews on it, and the reviews weren't all positive. Some of them were positive, some of them were a little negative. But what I wound up finding was that this book was extremely useful. Very well written, um, very intuitive, easy for the self-study, easy for someone looking for self-study here. Okay, so... Basically, what I did was I went out and got the book, and I started working through it. Now, you know, the layout is similar to any other textbook. I mean, you can see a couple of the chapters I have marked here. And it goes all the way down through, um, you know, through lipid metabolism, and then, of course, photosynthesis, amino acids, and um, integration metabolism and cellular signaling. So, all you know, all in all, pretty standard biochemistry text. Um, nothing too fancy, nothing too crazy here in the first... Um, in the beginning. Now, what I will, what I will say about this is, besides the, um, besides the, you know, the uh, intuitive understanding and enough detail and all that sort of stuff, I'm going to show you guys what I think is probably the most important part of this whole thing. And it might not be, it might not seem important, but it will be. And that's this. Check this out. These are critical review questions. Okay. And this is just a random chapter I picked, chapter 8 here. And, you know, what you'll notice, first of all, is that, look at this. There's a ton of review questions, okay? Look at this, another page. So what, what, what you wind up seeing here is that there's a total of about 50 questions, okay? 50 questions for this, um, for this uh, textbook. So each chapter has 50 or more questions associated with it. Now that I think is a big is a big benefit because you need to apply the information that you learned. So you go into class, you learn some information um, or whatever, or you're learning on your own. You want to start applying that information. This book provides you the questions and the diversity of questions 
that I feel really allows you to apply the information. So my book recommendation for biochemistry, if you're looking for a good one, go out and get yourself an old edition of Campbell of Campbell's Biochemistry. Okay.